Hi, how are you guys? Uh, welcome to another Paint the Edge Off with uh, Joel drawing under the Influence Ward. Uh, again, uh, if you haven't followed me already, please follow me on all the stuff. I'm on all the platforms, so uh, follow my stuff up there. Some of it's up there. And if you want to donate to help me out, that'd be great. Um, how is everybody? Happy Thursday to y'all, or whenever you're watching this, Thursday for me. Um, today we're going to be painting a cool painting, this one right here, okay? So this is a cool, I call it the pandemic. <laughs> pandemic. Um, it's kind of a, a little bit of a pop art feel, a little channeling my inner Andy Warhol there. A little Campbell's Panda Soup Bear kit, kit soup can there, right? Uh, this one's pretty cool. Uh, these colors are kind of specific to um, make this uh, kind of popping pop art feel. So change those colors up if you want, but those are kind of specific to that. So, you know, change them up however you want, but that's our painting we're gonna do today. Now, I've gone ahead and I've already drawn in some of mine, but I will still give you some tips on uh, how to, how you can draw that in, okay? But I've gone ahead and drawn mine in, so I can kind of skip that part a little bit, okay? But I'm gonna give you some tips on it, okay? So, uh, before we get started, let me talk to you about what you need for this painting. You're gonna need a 16 by 20 canvas, okay? 16 by 20 inches, all right? You're also gonna want some paper towels to wipe up any messes you got. Blow dryer helps you uh, dry, move fast through that. Uh, we've also got paper plates. I use paper plates for my palette. You can use whatever you want, but it's just cheap for me. And I've also got a water cup. You always want some kind of water cup, designated water cup. Uh, whenever you're not using your brushes, throw them in there. Okay, that is where they live. That's their home, okay? They're aquatic beings, okay? Uh, always leave them in there whenever you're not using them because they will, uh, they won't dry out, okay? So, remember to do that. Okay, um, let's see, I've got a couple things here. I've got a pencil. You're gonna want a pencil for this. There's a little bit of drawing. And I, you know, this is what's called a kneaded eraser. If you haven't seen a kneaded eraser, it's great. It's a little putty thing. Uh, but it's really good for erasing, especially on canvas. It works really well, okay? Uh, you've also got, um, <laughs> Got audio today. Hey, good to see you, Walter. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, I've also got my pencil. This is what's known as a pencil. Okay, I've also got a piece of chalk. I always like to have one of these around because uh, I can draw on my dried paint and sketch things in and then go back and erase them with some water or some spit. Okay, but this is good to sketch on top. I don't know if I'll need it too much today, but I might use this to sketch something out once I paint it over something. I've also got two brushes. I got my big flat brush and my small flat brush. We'll call them Batman and Robin. Batman does all the heavy lifting. Then Robin comes in for the little detail work, right? Okay, and I'm going to put those both bristled down in my water cup, okay? Let's see. I've also got some whiskey here, okay? And then colors are pretty uh, simple. You kind of, we're going to make, we're going to make all of our colors with our basic, you know, primary colors. So there's black and white. And then we've got some light yellow, some bright red, and some phthalo blue, okay? So... We're gonna make all of our colors with these. We'll add some white and black as we go. Uh, but these are gonna be some pretty bright colors. So that's kind of how we do that, okay? So, there's our colors. There's our there's our utensils. All right, I'm gonna get started here in just a second. Let me pop the top of my whiskey here. And uh, before we get started, I just wanna let you know, you know, if you're painting with, uh, with normal clothes, you might wear something you're not worried about getting paint on. It will come out of your clothes. Acrylic paint will come out kind of fast, but just gotta, you gotta move quick once it, dry, uh, once it dries, it's just in there and it dries pretty quick. So I would just wear something you're not wearing like anything on. But just watch out, it'll come out of your skin and your hair just fine. And, you know, have fun, you know? Don't stress too much about it, okay? Okay. All right, we're gonna get started here. Switch my camera angle. Uh, hey, thanks, man. Appreciate you guys. Okay. Here's my painting, okay? So now I've already gone ahead and drawn in uh, my my uh, panda bear here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and give you some measurements here just in case you're drawing this at home, just a couple quick ones. So again, this is 16 by 20 can uh, inch canvas, and this is an 18 inch ruler, okay? So I'll just give you a few, you know, here to just to kind of get started. The top of the head right in the middle, that's about two and a half inches down. That's where that mark is at the top. It's kind of good to start with your big marks, you know, that, maybe where the bottom of the chin or the bottom of the, uh, I don't know, neck is there. The bottom of the chin and the neck is about 12 inches and 12 and a quarter inch or so, maybe 12 and a half inches there. Okay, from the sides, 
you know, this is another good mark. These two marks here are good to make. This one, and they're not perfectly even on both sides, but I'll go ahead and give you a couple quick marks there. So it's about eight and a half inches down there. It's about right there. And it's about, what is it, two and a half inches over. This side's a little bit closer to the, to the right side. It's about two inches from the side, okay? Uh, but that's kind of, that'll kind of give you your first, you know, basic lines there, okay? I'll tell you, like, the center of the nose is a good one to start with. The center of the nose is about, about seven and a half inches from the right side. About, you know, what's the math? Uh, eight and a half from the left side, something like that, okay? And it's about, let's see, the bottom of the nose here is about ten inches down, okay? So I'm going to give you some markers to start with if you're drawing that in. Okay, and then from drawing the nose and the outside, you know, I mean, you you know, the inside, like these sides of the cheeks here, kind of where the mouth is, you know, that's about, what is that, about six inches over. This side's about, about six inches from both sides there for the mouth there. The left side's a little different because it's got that stick he's chewing on. And then the eyeballs, the eyeball range here, kind of right there, kind of where that little point is, I guess, at the bottom of the little markings on the face is about six inches down. And there's about an inch in between, I'd say, yeah, about an inch in between there. So you kind of got to make this line up, but, you know, it's kind of even spaced out there in the face. Okay, so anyway, that being said, enough of that. Let's pretend like you drew that out. You did a great job, great drawing. Okay, let's start drawing. So what I want to do is I'm going to start with, I'm going to go ahead and start with my background. It's just going to be a green. Okay, and then I'm going to do the yellow of the panda bear. Then the, um, the black parts are actually just like a maroon, like a dark red. Okay, so that's how I'm going to move through it. So first I'm going to make this green background. It's a very light green, so meaning a lot of yellow and some white, not much blue. And I'm going to take my big brush out of my water cup, tap it off so I feel fancy. Okay, take my brush, stir my paint in, my yellow, lots of yellow, a little bit of blue. Oh, and I didn't get any white. Grab some white. A little bit of white. And... I do want to mix up a lot of this because, you know, I've got to cover a lot of space in that background. So I'm going to go ahead and make a nice big pile of green here. Nice big pile of green. Okay, so I'm going to fiddle with this a little bit, okay? How's everybody doing? We doing okay out there? Doing good? Thank you all for watching. Appreciate you all. All right, I had a little bit more of my... Yeah, there we go. That's a nice, nice even green there. A little bit of light lime green, kind of yellowish green. Once I get that in, I'm just gonna fill. I'm gonna start just filling this in. Okay. Now on these sides, now this one's kind of nice because it's all about making these nice thick angular lines. And uh, if you start with the background and work your way forward, it's kind of easier that way. If you go a little over your line, maybe you made, you know, you kind of went too far over the ear. You know, when you paint the ear, and you can paint over that. So as long, that's like the key. You want to work from the uh, background to the foreground, okay? And fill it in like so. This is my panda bear. Drink the panda hammock. Sorry if that joke was pandering. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, filling in my panda bear background. Also, as you do this, I'd like to go ahead and fill in the side edges. How are we doing out there? Are you, uh, anyone, uh, your, is your state having a huge increase in coronavirus outbreaks? I know mine is. You know, you're worried about the coronavirus? You know it's good for it? Your immune system? Painting. about how you're gonna, you know, survive this financially? Do a painting. I don't know if you feel better. Um, got kidney stones? Do a painting. That's my advice. Okay. All right, so I got my out, my uh, background filter. I'm gonna go ahead and fill in the sides, paint the sides. I'm just gonna paint all the sides green. I like to paint the side edges just uh if you can make it one solid color it's a lot easier on you but it just looks nice to have the sides painted now i'm going to paint the top and the sides but i'm not going to paint my bottom okay 
don't paint your bottom till the end, you know? That's what my mom always told me. Don't paint your bottom till the very end. Okay, now once I get that done, I'm gonna wash my brush out, get some yellow, and fill in my bare. Here we go. All right, so now I wanna really wash my brush out because I'm gonna go back to bright yellow. Um, um, I'm going to go back to bright yellow, so I'm going to really wash this green out. Cinema Wilson says, I wish my government was more dependable. Yeah, hey, me too, right? Don't we all? But, you know, if you're worried about it, just, you know, do a painting. That always helps. All right, now I'm going to do some light yellow. So I'm just going to get yellow and white and fill in all the, the what would be a, a white, the white fur on the bear. But we're going to make it yellow. What is? And that's what's beautiful about painting. You know, you can do whatever you want. You can make Why colors whatever color you want. Cheers. Like mm. Alright. Yellow and white. Lots of white in here. White and yellow. Yellow's already so light. You need a decent amount of white to actually really change the color much. So I'm just going to add some yellow and white here. Mix her up. Okay, and I'm just going to start filling this in, okay? So, um, again, it can be pretty um, dependable. <laughs> I wish my government was dependable. Like okay. I'm going to go ahead and kind of start on the inside. And I'll do the outsides kind of last. Give my out my background just a minute to dry a little bit. So that less of a chance of it mixing. I'll probably still mix a little bit, but... You know, it's a little bit easier of a way to not, you know, keep it from mixing immediately. Okay, but I'm just going to go ahead and start filling this in. If you haven't watched much, this is my friend's band. Um, uh, um, uh, what was I going to say? I can't remember now. Yeah, I'm just going to go and fill these in. Now, I could make some nice solid lines here. Mostly pretty angular lines in this one. It's kind of the style of it, I guess. There's some areas where um, I can already see some of my um, some of my drawing through a little bit. But that's okay. All right, go and fill this in. Now, there's another part here. There's these two little kind of neutrally green, um, you know, shadows kind of going around the, excuse me, side of the head. So uh, I'm just going to paint around that a little bit. I'm going to leave a little bit of space there because I know I'm going to fill that in another color. Okay, so just, again, I'm just going around filling this in. Now, I do want to go all the way to that side edge as much as I can. I am going to put a black outline or some different colors outlining it, so it's not super, uh, it's not super, uh, I'm going to paint right over that stick, too, that's in his mouth, or her mouth. I don't know if this is a boy bear or a girl bear. <laughs> So again, around here, these are two lines I had kind of around the cheeks there. I'm going to give myself a little bit of space, because uh, I know I'm going to paint those in a little bit darker color here in a minute, and I don't, if I already kind of know where they're at, I can save myself a little bit of trouble with that, I think mix them together if I just kind of don't, if I can stay out of that area a little bit. the kind of music that all Willie Shakespeare here used to write. Here we go. I'm just going to go ahead and paint in all these sp spaces, all yellow, okay? I'll go back later and put some different colors on top, but for now, I'm just going to go ahead and fill it all in. I'm leaving a little bit of space empty on those cheeks, that's about it. Every other space, I'm just going to go ahead and fill that in. Okay, so let's see, that's yellow. There's a little bit of yellow right here on the, on the uh, shoulders, and also that belly. Got to get the belly. Do 
Now, um, if you usually pick uh, dark graphite like I did with your drawing, uh, so you can mix in and kind of darken up your paint a little bit, that graphite can mix in. I do recommend drawing light. I kind of drew it dark so you could see it. So I did a little bit darker than I would normally draw it. Because I want you to be able to see what I do. Okay? Okay. Alright, little belly in. I'm gonna go back to the top of the head. And then I think before I move on to the dark red, the, the black parts of the fur, where that would be, before I fill that in, I'm gonna go ahead and do these uh, kind of neutral yellow spots. And that's just gonna be yellow with a tiny, tiny smidge of black mixed in. Keep the colors pretty simple, you know? Very bright, but, you know, simple. Okay, let me see. Um, yeah, so, I'm gonna take just a little tiny bit of black, just the tiniest little bit right here. It's kind of small, it's a tiny little drop there. And I'm gonna take a little, just dip my brush in, just barely, just get a tiny bit on there, mix that in with a whole bunch of yellow. That turns this weird neutral color, it almost looks green for, you know, at first sight. There we go, that's kind of our little neutral. Neutral yellow. Okay, and I'm going to use this to fill in. This is probably a good spot for my small flat brush, a little bit smaller area. So go ahead and use this brush for a second. Okay, so this one kind of comes up here and goes down. And then it goes all the way um, to this. Uh, it goes kind of with this whole line that goes underneath the chin. So I'm going to fill this in. It kind of comes to a point at the top. It kind of tapers off on the end. Okay, it's got one more little... It's got one more little mark coming uh, right up here. Okay, on the right side, it's the same thing. Pretty much the same shape. Slightly Okay, so I've kind of, you know, outlined that a little bit, and then each side's got a little, little point coming out of it. It's basically underneath the eyes. This one kind of goes up to touching those little eye, uh, little eye mask, mask, I guess you call the fur, where it's a little dark around there. Then I'm also putting a little bit of this neutral color um, around uh, on the uh, shoulders here. So this one on the left side, it's going to be on that inside part right there. So mix it with my yellow a little bit. Well, maybe I'll get a little bit more black mixed in with my mixture and go ahead and fill that in. Alright. Okay, on the right side, uh, there's a little bit of this. It's kind of covering about half of the shoulder here. It's about half when I'm bring that down and just make a nice solid dead stop there. Nice solid straight edge there. So a lot of this is made up with like really sharp edges, so don't be too it's okay if your edges are real um, you know solid and stoppy. You don't have to be all curvy and stuff. Okay. Alright. Iron show. I got the yellow one. Okay, so next we're going to do the uh, the black parts of the fur, which is going to be red and black. So I'll mix that up next. Alright, red, black. Now, I want to really wash my brush out again because, you know, I've got yellow on there. So, a decent amount of black. We're going to make a lot of this. Go ahead and wash my brush. Give her a nice washing. What rant? My dog's staring at me. What do you want? Rant? Okay, red paint. Again, you want to stir your water in there with your paint. Get it all mixed in nice. Nice and evenly. You don't want a big drip coming down your canvas. Now I'm going to take some black in here. Okay, now I want this to be, you know, pretty dark maroon. So, the black is going to be very strong in this. So more than I would normally suggest using black because it's such a powerful color. This one's pretty dark, so I can use quite a bit of black. There we go, that's a pretty good color. So, I'm going to take this. I'll start with my big areas here. 
I'm gonna start by just kind of turning my brush sideways, making those skinny lines, really marking in all my areas there. I drew some lines kind of where these sides where the arms are there, but I'm just gonna have to paint over them. I'm gonna fill this in. So I guess I'm just paint this over. Lobbing up my brush, I'm gonna get some of that off there. Okay. It's also good to, uh, I think it's good to maybe name your bear. Oh, it's like Winnie the Pooh right now. Um, I'm going to call him uh, Seymour. Seymour the bear. He's going to see more. Uh, I don't know. Name your bear, you know? Make a connection. Right? All right, so I'm just kind of being mindful of where all my lines are. There's the bottom of that chin, trying to make that nice and straight across. Right here. What? What? Uh, making those solid edges, you want a lot of thick paint on your brush, you get a nice solid edge you can make, okay? Um, this is one also, you know, in this painting, again, I was always say don't fight your painting. You know, if you make a mistake, you, you make your line too long or you go over the wrong thing, the best thing you do is let it dry. Okay, um, once it's dry, you know, um, you can just paint over it. So that's the easiest way to fix it. So rather than stress about it and all that, just let it dry for a minute. And... Paint over it later, fix it up later. That's the easiest way to fix it. Okay, now this year, it's coming down. There's that little fold. That's kind of that shape. So this part of the year is behind the head. And right, and it goes up, and then somewhere in here, it's going to have a drop down, covering that yellow. Same thing over here, you know, there's this big spot, this is in the front, this is on top of that yellow, so it's going right over that. Over here on this outside part, it's just going to follow the outline. I just want to cover all this white of my canvas up right? get that all filled in, okay? All right, the eyes, you know, in here in these parts, I might start switching to my small brush. Kind of big. <laughs> Can't bear it. You know, I was going to say that joke. Like, took my steam. All right, let's see, fill this in. Now down at the bottom, they kind of get a little bit bigger and groovier. So I let those little eye mask things get a little wider at the bottom. <laughs> Lacey says, I can't bear it. I thought it was a good joke. No, you didn't mess it up. It's a great joke. She says she messed up her own. I don't think I think I'm going to introduce, you know, maybe some trivia we'll play. 
Um, some little trivia question, and then maybe Dan will answer. It'll be like um, trivia, and it's all based on science and facts. Like, uh, who would win in a fight, um, Tinkerbell or um, Buzz Lightyear? Okay, I'll have the answer at the end of this. Okay, so think hard about your answers, and you'll get the correct answer at the end. I'm gonna go ahead and switch to my small brush, okay? Because spaces are a little smaller, I'm gonna have a little bit of trouble filling those in with my big brush. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch to my small brush. Make sure I really wash my or mix my water in. Okay. That's not perfect, there's a couple of smudges there, but again, I'm just gonna leave it. You can always go back with yellow, and by the time we outline everything in different colors, we probably, probably be able to just cover that up at some point. Now, in the middle of the mouth, I am going to leave, um, you know, a little space empty in the middle. I'm gonna use that, I'm gonna put some red paint in the middle. Kind of like, um, I guess it would be like this too, like it's kind of scary. But, I'm gonna leave a little small space in the middle blank. Something like that, okay? Now, uh, let's see, I wanna go ahead and I think that's all the dark red spots. So, it's probably pretty dry. I'm gonna go and give it one more, one more uh, blow dry, take another shot, and then we'll start adding all the cool, fun colors, okay? I think my left ear needs to be a little bigger. Let me make my left ear a little bigger. Before I blow dry. That right ear is just so much bigger. Let me try to even it out. Oh, okay, well, that green is still very wet. I'm just gonna come back, I'll cut, I'll do another layer over that later. Okay, a little bit better shape, size. Ugh. All right, one more shot. All right, that's probably good enough to keep moving here. So, uh, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use just uh, my white and black. So I'll make some nice bright white marks and some kind of that land on the floor. And some black marks, and then I'll go back with some colors. White and black. A little yin and yang. So I'm gonna kind of, this is kind of where you're gonna decide, you know, where's my bright spots? Where's the darkest spots? And then after that, we'll start adding in all these bright colors on top. Um, and then that will, um, but the white and the black kind of are a good place to start from. You start with the white and the black, and then you go in with different colors and kind of base it off. Where's your lightest colors on this? Where's your lightest colors? Where's your darkest colors? And kind of keep your, your bright colors, you know, according to that. Okay. So I'm gonna start with my white. I'm gonna take my white, and I'm gonna start just, you know, basically I'm gonna start with outlines. Oh, still got some red in there. Start with some outlines, and then I'll move in and kind of put some highlighted areas in it. I'm gonna move my painting, hold on. Okay. All 
All right. White paint. Get all that color washed out of your brush. I'm using my small flat brush now, okay? This red state that I live in, well, it could change to a blue state in a day. And that don't bother me. I'm washing this out a lot because I want this to be bright white. And I don't want there to be a bunch of colors in there. I like to take a little paper towel and wipe it. There we go. I got most of it out. But I need to keep stirring that water. Now, again, now when you make small skinny lines, there's a couple tips to that. Okay, one of the main things is um, after you stir your brush and it's this big blob, you know, take your brush, scrape it off on the side a little bit, wipe some of that paint off. And then when you get paint, don't just like dip it straight down and scoop. Lay it down, kind of flat, pull it through, flip it over, pull it through a couple times. And that keeps it nice and flat on the end, okay? So, that being said, I'm going to go ahead and start painting some outlines, kind of some thick white lines where it's the brightest spots are. So, I feel like there's a little bit more light coming from this side, coming down this way, like from up here, you know? So, that being said, I'm going to put some bright white spots you know, on these left sides and the top side. And I like to make these kind of thick, you know? I can always go back later. I'll go back later and make some little skinny lines probably, but for the most part, I can make these kind of thick, okay? I'm gonna, I'll, I'm gonna cover these up with some other, some other bright colors on there too. Let's see some white lines on the outside of that shoulder. Um, I'll put a few, I'll put some white on this right side, just like maybe like right there just a little bit. Maybe just one little white line, like right there on the shoulder. Maybe that's catching some light on the edge. Okay, then other than that, you know, I'm going to go around maybe like right here. Outlining the bottom of that, just kind of right there on that curve. Outlining the bottom of that uh, chin. Let's go ahead and do some white right there as well. Okay, now this is where we kind of start making up some other lines to kind of define the shape of the head. So this right here, these like neutral colors that go around the chin and the outside, you know, that's kind of like another plane, a plane, okay? So if I go, you know, this is kind of like a, a whole shape in itself that kind of goes on the inside of this bare head that shows you kind of the shape of the head. So I'm gonna make a line right here. I know that's hard to see because that yellow and white are so bright. And there's a little bit of glare from the light because the paint's still a little wet. But essentially, I'm making a little kind of outline, a little shape of the head right there. A little bit there. Um, I'm going to put a little bit of outlining the side of the mouth. Okay, this is another important part of the head you want to outline is where the side of that snout is, right? So it's going to go right inside the, uh, the eye, uh, eye mask there. I'm going to put a little bit going down the, the Top of the lip, maybe the, that top lip, across there, outlining that. And maybe just a little bit on the bottom too. Okay, and then I'll put a little bit, maybe on this side, even just a little bit of white right there, to kind of outline where the snout is. And let's see, maybe a little bit here, underneath the eye. You know, maybe some here. Maybe some here, maybe some there, maybe some here, maybe some here, maybe some there. And okay, also there's another couple big spots, so I want to outline kind of the right side, the left side of the sorry, left side of my bare belly. This is kind of where the light again, the light's coming from here. So it's gonna give you a little bit of the effect of a little bit of curvature of that belly, just a tad. Okay, and I'm just gonna make up some big blocky spots where there's some maybe some wider areas on the belly. I'm kind of just, you're kind of simplifying these shadows and highlights down on this one. This is a real stylized bear, okay? You're making, you're taking your own artistic liberties here to make whatever you want. I also like to make another shape, but the inside kind of reflects that other shape, so I'm kind of gonna go this way and then down. Okay, and then on the right side, I can kind of do whatever I want. But fill that in all nice and solid white. It's starting to come together. I do want to make sure I got nice, thick, white. A lot of this painting is about having solid, blocky, bright colors. Yeah, 
There we go. We set and shared your path. Okay, again, if you're watching, the trivia question was... This is a scientific trivia question. At the end, I will give you the answer, okay? But it is, uh, who would win in a fight, uh, Tinkerbell or Buzz Lightyear? Okay, I'll give you the answer at the end. Okay, um, I'm going to take some black and start basically, you know, putting in all my dark areas. I'll start in the, the dark red spots, and then I'll put some around the, um, in some of the yellow spots too. But with the black, I start in the dark spots. With the white, I start in the light spots, and then kind of work my way through there. Um, there's not a whole lot of bright white I really put on the, the, the dark red spots, but I might put some by the end of it. Okay, black paint. Again, I'm stirring my water in, mixing it in. And then once it gets kind of blobby, which is kind of inevitable from, just gonna scrape some of that off. And then I lay my brush down, pull it through, flip it over, pull it through, do that once or twice. And that keeps it nice and skinny. That way I can make some nice skinny lines. Okay, so I like to start with this line right here. This line goes from the front of this ear right up through the middle, okay? So, Tinkerbell for sure. Okay, Lacey says Tinkerbell. I mean, we'll see, you know. Maybe you're right. I have the, the facts, you know. I have I've looked this up. I've done experiments. So, basically, I'm just outlining the front part of this ear where it goes up here, and then I just continue it up into the middle. Okay, then on the right, I'm going to outline the top and the right part of this ear. That's the most in shadow part of that ear, other than the center where it's kind of tucked in. Over here, kind of the same thing. I'm going to outline this, and then I'm going to curve it up, and just kind of let it fade off there on the right side. And then I'll put a little bit of a little dark black spot there. Lacey says Tinkerbell went in a fight to the depth between her and Buzz Lightyear. She sounds pretty confident. Are you sure? Okay, now this side, maybe I'll put a little bit of black here. Now I'm kind of going over my white. It's just something you gotta do. Sometimes you just, this is all, it's okay to do a whole bunch of different colored outlines on this one. Let's see, now in here on the eyes, there's one other, a um, little bit of nuance to this, and I'll do the eyes parts in here. There's a little bit actually in here where we're gonna do some eyes and kind of draw a little bit in there with our paint to define where the eyes are. Okay, but I'll get to that later. Okay, I'm gonna outline, so this is kind of another dark area, getting some black there. Need a little bit of black over here too. And going there. <laughs> Lacey is a positive, it's Tinkerbell. Okay, but I'm wondering, Lacey, are you a scientist? Have you done the research? She says yes, and I'll tell you why. So this ought to be good. Let's hear it, Lacey. Let's see. Oh, right side of this shoulder, we want to definitely outline. That right side that's in shadow. I'm also gonna go ahead and take this and kind of redefine where I have my arm. There's that arm line. I'm gonna make that go down. And I'm gonna make it a little thicker at the bottom. So it's kind of getting thicker, it's kind of more in shadow. Kind of a wider shadow spot down there. Right side, I'm gonna make another little line here for this arm. I'm gonna go ahead and take this all the way up to that yellow spot, kind of connecting that all the way up. On the right side, it's gonna start somewhere there and it's gonna fade off to the right. Maybe I'll put a little bit of black on this side of the yellow too. Okay, I'm gonna outline, put some lines inside the, the red part. Now this is, might be kind of hard to see. But in here on the right side, I'm just gonna make a line kind of going across the top and then down and angle down this right side. So I kind of made a little, little um, what's that, a less than sign, greater than sign, the one that points that way, whatever that is. And arrow, okay, let's do that. And then on the inside, I'm going to make another line that's kind of reverse. It's kind of a, just a right angle here on the inside. And this kind of is, you know, defining where the nose is. And then I could outline, you know, the bottom of that nose, kind of re-outline that. And, and then I do also want to make a little tiny line. This is going to be hard. Make a little line going down the middle right there. Maybe a little bit more in the middle or make just, I'll just make it wider. And then I also want to put a little outline around the top part of that lip. Kind of just going to outline that whole mouth a little bit. Just small little outlines there. 
then I'm also going to go ahead and take this up and kind of around where my stick's going to be. So I've kind of like made that pop up so you can see it's kind of sticking out his, his mouth there a little bit. And I'm also going to make another little line here that's kind of showing maybe a little wrinkle right there where his mouth's a little protruding on that left side. Okay, I'm also going to do a line here that kind of shows, you know, that side of the cheek, I guess it would be, maybe the snout, I don't know. Um, let's see, what else have I put some mark? I think that's most of my black and white spots. Okay, the other thing you want to do here, so this is the other trick. So the eyes, uh, panda bears, they have that little mask around their eyes, but up here it's like pretty close to their eye. Their eyes are, you know, pretty right in the middle there, kind of take up, you know, their mask comes pretty close to where their eyes are. But what I want to do is there's kind of a little point right here on both sides, right in the middle. Give myself a little bit of space, I'm going to make a little line that goes down. Okay, you can barely see that, but there's a line that goes right there. I'm going to do the same thing over here. Right. And then I'm going to make a big circle. So what I do is I just kind of press down and just twist my brush around to make that circle. So I'm going to start here. Nice big eye. It's a little cartoony, but you know what's funny is you never notice Panda's eyes really because it's just got that black mask. It's hard to see it. Now, there's my eyes. Um, I put a little line underneath that's kind of showing like kind of where that snout is and like where the, the, uh, the lines under the eye would be, like where the cheek, eyelid, cheek, I don't know. Um, and then I'm going to put another little line maybe around the bottom I can outline some of these darker areas where maybe the outside of those dark red part of the mask is. I can put a little black outline around that. Okay, um, that's most of our black and white. One more thing I'm going to do in the white. This is going to be, this is going to really pull it together here. So, I want to put little highlights on the eyes, right? The important thing is wherever you put the highlight on one eye, if, it's, if I put on this top left part of this eye, right up here, I want to put on the top left part of this eye too. Okay, it's a, this isn't the pupil of the eye, it's a highlight, okay? So when you look at someone's eyes, if there's a light hitting it from this side on this side, it's hitting it in the same spot on this side, okay? Because the light's coming from the same area. So a lot of times when they, people do eyes, they put this white highlight on there, and they think of it like uh, the pupil, like where they're looking. That's not what it is. So the light's kind of coming from this side, so I'm going to put on this top left spot. I'm just going to dip my brush, the plastic into my brush in here, and I'm just going to press it right down. Top left spot on both sides of the eye, okay? And now I've got a nice little highlight on our eye. If you want to get crazy, you could do like a couple of small ones around it too on both sides. Make it look there's a couple lights, you know, maybe reflecting off its eyeball. Okay, that being said, we're ready for our bright colors. And I'm ready for a shot. <sighs> Alright, so, so the other colors we're going to add, we're going to add some pink, some light blue. And that's most of our colors. Then we can always go back to some more white and black and, you know, yellow and kind of cover some things up if we need to trim something up. Okay, so I'm going to stick with my small brush, Robin. <clears throat> Batman did his duty. Now Robin's in to clean up the mess. I'm going to really wash this out, though, okay, because I want this to be really clean. A lot of this uh, colors you want them to be nice and solid and bright and not mixed together. So I'm going to put a little bit of red here, a little bit of blue. Basically going to be using, you know, light, light pink and a light blue. So I'm going to get some more white and take my small brush. So let me start with the um, pink areas, then we'll do blue last. Let's go ahead and do pink. So white, lots of white, a little bit of red. I want a nice light pink here. Now again, I've mixed this up. Now my brush is all blobby. So, scrape it off. Get some of that paint off there. And then lay it down, pull it through on both sides. Get my brush nice and flat with that color on there. Okay, so I'm kind of doing the same thing. I'm kind of following some of my lighter areas. Okay, but I do know, but I'm going to go in some of my... Uh, ear parts, some of my uh, dark red parts too. Uh, I'll go ahead and start at the top and just kind of work my way down. Put some on that side. Mm, it's a little too light. Let me add a little bit more red to it. There we go. That's probably a little bit better. There we go. You can kind of 
see that now. It's better. So, I'm going to take this. I'm going to put some bright spots over here on the left side. I'm going to put most of these on the left side of different parts of the bear because that's where the light's coming from. I'm going to outline this whole edge of this here. And just work my way through, okay? So, I'm just kind of going through, finding my light areas where I just want a little bit of color, a little bit of bright colors in there. Like the light pink line going down there. Kind of fades off. So I'm just kind of going back over some of my white lines. Put some color on there. So if you're painting along, just follow along with me. Just going through part by part and making lines positive as you need. Also, by the way, I'm going to put these up. I finally have my Facebook page made. So I'll have these going up on my Facebook page. It's just at Paint the Edge Off on Facebook. But I will have those kind of uh, after I do these live on my page, my personal page. I'll put them up on Facebook, my um, uh, Paint the Edge Off actual page. So those will be coming, okay? And I also have a YouTube page. You can all have those uh, posting on there as well. Oh, there's one other thing. I'm going to take some bright red, too. That's the other thing. I'll take some bright red and put that on my dark red spots, too. I add just a few little subtle differences of color in there. Though. We'll do that in a minute, too. So let's see. I've gone around a lot of these spots. Oh, I need to put some over here. And Oh, yeah, the belly. Put some down here on the belly. And, you know, on this side, I might go ahead and put a little bit of red. Going down that side, get a big chunk there on the top part of the building, maybe a little line there. I'm also going to put a, a little bit of a highlight here. A little bit going down this arm. Mm, okay, I think that's most of the light pink areas. I'll come back and do some just some regular deep red, just red with nothing mixed together with it. Just bright red, and I'll put that in here in the dark areas, and that'll add kind of a final, um, a final shade, a final uh, detail, volume, def definition, definition, definition. Okay, I'm gonna get, now I'm gonna do my light blue. I'm gonna take some blue and add a little bit of white to it. A tiny bit of white. I just think adding just a little bit of white to the phthalo blue makes this really pretty blue. Here. I don't want it too light necessarily. I want it to be just about the same or a little bit darker than my pink. A line there. Got the one line here. Maybe a little line. Now this blue line, these lines that I drew underneath the eyes right here that I know are hard to see. Let me put it up here. Maybe you can see. There's a couple of lines I drew underneath the eyes, right? They're kind of going underneath the, the, uh, the balls of the eyes the eyeballs, as some would call it. And where those lines kind of, you know, fade off, I'm going to put a blue line right there as if to kind of connect them all here. That kind of represents another little, you know, bump, uh, definition, uh, uh, uh. Okay, a little bit of blue here. I'm going to put a little bit of blue, uh, uh, here. Oh, hello. Okay, put a little bit of blue down here in the shoulder. There we go. I just like to set it and forget it. Top of the nose, I like to make a little, this is going to be a little different. I'm going to set it down and just sweep, sweep my brush. Okay, let's put it here. Sweep it. Okay, I'm going to outline this right side there. A little bit around my eyeballs, where I feel like it would be a little bit darker around there. There's some of the darker spots. Okay, I'm gonna put a little triangle sh shape there. That one to the right side is gonna have a little bit more blue on it. Picking up on that, that's kind of a general pattern here. Okay, I'm going to outline 
it on the left side of my black outline on this one. In here, I'm going to go ahead and do some blue there, somewhere. Maybe put a little blue line in there. Maybe that was a mistake. But whatever, I'm okay with it. Okay, right side of the belly. Put some big, thick marks there. And I've got one more big uh, chunk of light blue right here. Now again, I kind of like to let these edge kind of match this edge and kind of this edge over here. So I kind of defined my shape a little bit. I've kind of gone ahead and it's an easy way to kind of make a shape here that kind of follows your painting. You kind of feel like it goes here. It's not just some random distraction shape. And let's see, did I get a little light blue? I think I got most of it, yeah. So I got my paint out here I'm looking at. Woo! Blue, done! Oh yeah, oh wait, oh wait, blue on the nose. I need to put a little bit of blue on the nose and the mouth. That's the part I forgot. Got too excited, got ahead of myself. Okay, on the right side of this nose, I'm gonna kinda do what I did with the black here, which again is hard to see, but on the nose, I made a little bit of black lines in there to kinda define part of that nose. Okay, but on the right side, I'm gonna go ahead and do a line right there going over. That's kinda watery, I might drip, I don't wanna drip. Now, if your water's too watery, like it's gonna run, here's my fix. I'm just gonna dab it with a paper towel. Get that water off my canvas. And then get some nice, really mix my brush up with some thick paint, and go over it again. I'll fix it. There we go. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and do a little line there. That kind of shows the middle of the nose. And, oh yeah, a little bit in the mouth. So I'm gonna basically do a little line here. Mm, excuse me. That kind of shows part of that. Now, I'm going to wash it out. Okay, we did the, the pink, the blue. I'm going to put some dark red. <coughs> excuse me. And then I'm going to do the stick. I think that's about it, honestly. Honestly. So let's get some, just some bright red. Wash my brush. Take one more shot. I probably need some more Coke, too. Uh, congratulations. You're almost there. You're making a nice, beautiful little pop art panda bear. Okay. Panda bear during the pandemic. Mm -hmm. I love this cover. It's by a local group named Handmade Moments. They're awesome. I hope they're not mad I'm using their music. Okay. Wash my brush. Rant, what are you doing? Come here. Come here. Look, it's my dog. Ram, go on, go lay down. Go lay down, buddy. No, I know. I'll take you out later. He's staring at me. He's so pissed. I just took him out. Okay, uh, red paint. So just red paint, nothing mixed in. Got a little blue in there, it's okay. Bright red. Rant. What? What, Rant? It's okay, bud. Everything's gonna be fine, Rant. He's kind of mad, he's mad at me. What? Rant, don't be mad. Okay, red paint. So, I'm gonna put some just bright red spots, maybe halfway in between my pink spots and my black spots on the on my dark maroon areas okay well, i'm just going to add this in a few areas maybe here main place i want to add it though that's going to um, really brighten this up or kind of bring it together is i'm going to put it kind of like in here on my eye spots there right underneath you know where those lines are that helps to find that and then also you know another way I can use that to define kind of different where the curvature, the uh, planes of the face are kind of changing. I can put a little block there. Maybe this goes there. Okay, down here in the dark red, there's going to be a couple spots. Maybe some bright red right there. On the inside of that arm right there, that little inside part of the belly. Better known as Aaliyah. 
She's a perching on a tree, uh, and she can always see ya. And then in the map, I'm also gonna make a little a flying bird of this prey. white spot that's been blank this whole time. I'm gonna fill that in red. And, she's swooping down the way. Yeah, she gets what she wants. and then I'm also she gonna fill the stick in red. Handmade moments, get ready. You're about to feel the rapture. I'm gonna round off a little bit on that edge. You can't tell no and then just draw a straight line down. Now the end, it's kind of, I guess I'm envisioning bamboo or something, so it can be kind of just like straight on the edge. And, and just kind of the angular thing kind of goes with the feeling of this painting anyway. Kind of looks like he's not smoking a cigar, okay? It's, uh, it's bamboo. So before I'm done, I want to add some more little um, marks to that little stick so you can kind of tell the shape of it. Add a little bit of black to my red, kind of get another maroon color. I'm going to outline like the bottom section where it would be in shadow. Well, I think this is my other um, Handmade Moments song. I like this one. It's weird. I think that's why I like it. I'm going to put a little line going down the top, along the top of that down. stick, and then make maybe just a couple little marks. That. Maybe that'll make it look a little bit more like bamboo. And I think that's good. I'm going to call it. I think we're good. I think we did it. Um, I'm going to sign my name now. Uh, you can use a small round brush is always good for that. Or if you have a marker handy, just use a marker. If it's dry, you can just use a marker. I'm going to take some light pink, sign my name, and I'm also going to paint that bottom edge green. I like to put it down here in the bottom. I like to kind of hide it in with some of my other colors so it's not too obvious. There's my signature down in the bottom right. And I'm going to paint that bottom edge now. So, Rant, come here. Rant. So, uh, come here. Come here. Well, we sure did learn a lot today. Sorry, I just want to do that. <laughs> uh, paint the bottom edge green. And um, again, if you haven't followed me already, please uh, follow me on the other platforms there. Um, I'm just kind of starting out, but I need your help. If you don't mind, going over to YouTube, Instagram, Twitch, everything. Just search Paint the Edge Off. You'll find me. Uh, but I really appreciate that. If you want to donate to me, that's awesome. You're awesome. And uh, answer to the trivia question is... Yes, Lacey, you were right. It is Tinkerbell. She has magic, so duh, she's going to win. So the answer to our trivia question, who would win in a fight to the death? Buzz Lightyear, Tinkerbell. It's Tinkerbell. Buzz Lightyear, uh, you know, he thinks he's tough. And he has a toy, so it's like, you know, he could probably sustain a lot, but Tinkerbell's magic. She's probably like making him disappear or something. So uh, thanks for playing. If you said Buzz Lightyear, I started out with an easy one too, okay? So, uh, thanks for watching, uh, and you know, yes, you did know, Lacey. Thank you for watching, and, uh, you know, paint the edge up, and, uh, you know, uh, keep on, uh, keep trucking. Okay, bye.